everybody and welcome to a vlog. It is Saturday today and this vlog is just going to be filmed over today because there is a lot to get done today. Most of the wardrobe clear out is happening today so I'm going to vlog it all. Um, Mum's down, she's just gone to the shop to get some more bin bags um, and the only bit you've missed is that I went through some jeans. I recently did a jeans video, like my favourite jeans so I sort of felt like I'd covered all the favourites. Um, but today we're going to do the rest of it, the rest of the shoes, everything like that, so I'm going to vlog it all. We're also going to do a big shop at the supermarket because uh, this weekend is Notting Hill Carnival and I'm having a party at mine tomorrow, which I'm not going to be vlogging just because I'm also going to be drinking and I'm going to put it on Instagram stories, so make sure you go and follow along on there if you want to see stuff. But I feel like vlogging, I'm just setting myself up to fail with saying that I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, we're going to do some prep for that today. Already got a lot of stuff in so we have an iron but we've got like spice rum doritos vodka here which has been here for ages and then the fridge is well stocked at the moment red stripe all the mixers in the world some dips which i've also had a bit of ting for rum and ting diet coke we're ready we just need to get some food bits today and some last drinky bits um so yes that's the plan it, I moved two weeks today, so it's very, 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 very fast approaching indeed, which is crazy to think. Um, it's my last two weeks here, and that this time last year I just moved here. Um, to what, this is so, so, so weird. So basically, um, I'm not going to show you out, out my window, but they board up loads of Notting Hill for the carnival. I'll go and walk around later so I can show you guys it because it's crazy. And the um, house that's just over the road from mine someone's graffiti on it leads to london that's me leads to london um but yeah everything's good. it's just gonna be wild this weekend like notting hill carnival's insane i'm really really looking forward to it but it goes on to sunday and monday because it's bank holiday weekend this weekend and tomorrow i'm having a party monday i need to work so i think i'm gonna have to go like work in so house or something all day because it's literally like so loud here i was i vlogged last year so you might remember it from then um, but yes, the other thing I wanted to show you was these new earrings that I have. I've got two gold hoops in. Are we in focus? The big ones are from Monica Veneda. I probably said it wrong. These ones are from All Blues. And I also got a new necklace from All Blues, which I don't have on, but I'll show you it later. Um, and I'm really, really loving these. I'm going to get some more piercings. I'm going to get another one there so I can put my other diamond stud in. And then another one on here so I can put my loop in. Oh, I think Anne is back. Trying to work the door out. Hello. <laughs> Struggling. 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 You've got loads of stuff. I've got quite a bit of stuff and I've had a very long chat with a, a lovely old gentleman in Tesco's. Why does stuff like that happen to you? As long as I've lived here, I've never had to have a chat with an old man in Tesco. How can you ended up talking to him? He asked me where the baked potatoes were. <laughs> and then you started having a chat? Yes. That's what, yes, sort of. Almost that way around. Yes. Was he nice? He was very sweet. Oh, that's good. And then what did you get from the shops? Gosh. Um, I got some toilet rolls because you're running out of toilet rolls. Mm -hmm. You can go and put those in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, well, that was good. So, <laughs> Ooh. Croissants because I was hungry. Yeah. Some more milk. Yeah. And I just came my breath back. I am old, you know. You are old. No, you're old. Um, Bin bags, cleaning products. Oh, you got some bleach. Gin, uh, ginger beer. Ginger beer. Fiery ginger beer. More ginger beer. Oh, not bad. Oh, right now. And then lots of bin bags and cleaning products for you <laughs> to enjoy your cleaning. When I'm not here, I will enjoy that. Via cow because that works on a lime scale. Right. You do have a lime scale problem. I have a lime scale problem. Everybody in London has a lime scale problem. Every size of the bouncy bag I can find because and some Jif. Sif, now called Sif, used to be called Jif. Did it? Back in the day. And some bleach! Yes! This is oddly hard to find around here. Very hard to find thin bleach and it's very useful for sinks. So. Just look out the window there, you see the, the boarding they're putting up over the road, it says Leeds to London on it. I know, I saw that. Yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. No, woo, woo, move, move. On the floor. Oh, 
floor, so I presume that is already started. So the one thing that I seem to not want to get rid of the most. So I'm going to keep all the leather jackets that I've got. I've got one from a brand called Anaga, Mango, ASOS, Marge, Claudia Canelo, Celine, Weekday and Acne. And I wear them all. Especially ones like, you guys probably remember this Weekday one from last winter that I wore endlessly. Then blazers, lots I don't want to get rid of. My Tibby checked one here. Uh, this is a cropped black jacket from Under the Stories. My Frankie Store black long line blazer I wear all the time. This uh, green one from Under the Stories that makes me look like I've won golfing tournament. Um, Evelyn grey one which is still well tied. Under the Stories pinstriped wool one which I still love. Long line a wool Joseph coat. Acne jacket that I've had for ages and don't really wear that much anymore but still really like. Le Mer blazer, which is quite recent. Totem linen jacket. A cropped Charlie May wool jacket. Cropped mango cotton jacket. Long line jigsaw blazer. The Stella McCartney blazer. Vintage Hermes blazer. This is one of the pieces I have from Vestiaire. And their vintage bit. Faux fur from Under the Stories. Vintage check blazer that I bought in Manchester. DVF cropped bomber jacket. This I wear loads in the winter, like running errands, because it's so thick and warm. Went to the gym a lot and stuff. Um, Massimo Duty mustard jacket. I feel like you won't see me in that this that much, but I really like this jacket. Long line trench from Acne. You might remember that from Testing Basics. Leopard jacket from Under the Stories, and then the wool. Sorry, the wool and cashmere Joseph coat. Lots of coats still at yours, Mum. Yes. Okay. So we might have some time we'll get to ship them the other way. Yeah, we might just swap. Which I'm going to keep because it's Christmas time. Christmas times and party times. Woo! These are the trousers I've graduated in Alexander McQueen, really long black flared trousers, but I had them tailored to fit perfectly, so I shall never sell those. Um, what are these? What are those? Oh, straight leg, etro, 
tailored trousers which were from Testing Basics last year. I've not worn those in over a year, I need to be ruthless. Ooh, uh, the pinstripe wool trousers that match the blazer. Keepy keepy, I like those. These are from H&M, which I wore when I went on a trip with them. They're like really high-waisted drawstring oh, nice ones. Things. I really like these. They were underneath the other stuff I've got had them. These are... Oh, Topshop, I like those. I forgot I had those as well. Oh, those are Sport, sport Max ones. Look. And the Sport Max ones. Okay, do you like those? I've had these for how long, do you think? Five oh, years? I've bought them in Paris. Paris. Yes. My Celine trousers that I got at Vista Village. Keep reserved. those. Some reserved trousers. No, they can go. Blue under the stories trousers that I have to wear with a shirt and look like Kevin Webster from Coronation Street. Oh yeah. Um, I think I don't think I'll wear these during the winter. So those are a no. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got these Tibby Colots. Who remembers these? Which I bought in New York four years ago. Yeah. I still love these. Yeah. Keepy keepy, keepy keepy. My oh, under the oh, stories nice. cream trousers. And these need rehemming because I wore them with my Isabel Morant sparkly ankle strap shoes and they sh it shredded the hem. Ooh, you know all the sparkles, the like rhinestones Ooh, on it. Is yeah, but I'll get those done if I want to keep those. I love those. These Philippa K trousers that I've got from Zalando. Really high waisted, long, wide legged ones I love. Um, and the stories leather pants. I really, really, really love those. We'll still wear those. Oh, Totem Black Silk. And these little pair should be somewhere here. Yeah, the same pair twice. Black silk ones and then the ones with the Totem geometric print. Keep and keep. Line by K cord um flares. Really high waist which I love. These are my gym trainers if anyone's interested. Vans old school, Vans old school. This pair I haven't worn in forever, so. Well, let's go into them. More gym trainers. Old Stan Smiths, low top Converse. Those are all keepers, apart from the Vans. And then, there's lots in here. Boots, so I've got the over the knee. Let me just shut this door so you can't hear the music too much okay whew, got the over the knee Stuart White's and Highland boots definitely keep those also these over the knee under the stories leather ones that are a bit slouchy oh my gosh it's so dusty it's all getting up my nose keep those and those I really like them both Acne Jensen boots. I will keep because I love how they look, but I don't recommend these. I find them incredibly uncomfortable and impossible to break in. These I still love. I've had these for years. Alexander Wang sock boots. Some of the best shoes I've ever had those. Um, these are a bit tatty now, probably. Oh, I don't know. I still love them. Loafer. Loffler Randall. Black suede pointy boots. No, I will keep those because I still love them. Gucci grey um, leather boots, I love those. And my June red pointy boots. So that was not a successful section of getting rid of anything because 
those are all keepers i love all of those apart the only ones that i would consider saying goodbye to be the acne jensen because they are so uncomfortable i know people say they take ages to wear in and then when you do them, the best things ever but like i just find them impossible to wear in completely impossible is that it for shoes i think there's another box at the other side of the bed I just have to find the energy to go and get that box. And then, I've done shoes. Because we did all these last week. Did I have to show you? Oh, you'll see on Instagram, but the second, I got the other shoe of these. These are the New Balance 9904-4. It looks like that on the, on the tongue. I've been wearing these non-stop. I really, really like them. And so very glad that I got the other, the other matching pair to them. Right, let me go around the other side and get look through this last shoe box. So, in this box we have Another Stories Chunky Grip Boots, which are great in the snow, so those are a keep. Top Shop Cowboy Boots, so those are a keep. Haven't really had a chance to wear them. These ASOS boots with the big ring on them. I think I'll part ways with those now. My Acne Clumpy Zippy Boots, which I still love. They're like a brogue, but a boot. And I also have the brogue version of those. I think I'll part way with the brogues, but not the boots, because I love the boots. But these are the brogues of them. Um, oh, and then the last pair of boots in here, which I'll definitely be keeping, are my original Dear Francis ones, the first ones I ever had, which are the port coloured spirit boots. The leather in these wears beautifully. So that's less two pairs from in that box. And that is it for shoes. I thought there was more to go through than that. Oops, but that's good. Bit of a success there. Oh, do you know what? There's more shoes in here. There's more shoes in here, I forgot them out. Oh, okay. There you go, just as well we looked. So what are you gonna do, chop some? Joseph one in Joseph. So it's great to accept. Great to accept. 
I love it. Oh, I love it. And I'm also just buying a white t shirt because my under the stories one has got marks on it because I'm messy. That is cheap. Mum's looking at cardigans for me online for testing basics. Each name have them for $8.99. So far, what was the Joseph one? Two for five. I got the stories one, which was 70, and Uniqlo, which was, was it 35? Yeah. So I could do the, with the other two, one being 100 and something, mm -hmm. and the other one being under 35, under like the 20 quid mark, maybe. Well, they, I mean, like, I'm obviously up to the year of 8 99 but they do have... 8 99 8 99 I've got damages wool. But otherwise, they do have a V-neck wool blend cardi for 24 99 The only thing with H&M is that their online delivery is sometimes quite slow. Oh, I know. Uh, that's why I don't really do them in testing basis, because... And the store stock's always so different. Mm. Anyway, um, I'm just been looking on Vestiaire as well. Yeah. Next. Why on. do I look like shit? You look like shit. Me, I'm not looking so I'm meant to agree. <laughs> <laughs> next, I've got quite a few. Well, oh, next isn't a brand I've really done before. The round neck ones. I'll tell you how much. Yeah, how much is next? Bear with, please. I'm just looking here. Right, uh, the neck like is. It. Well, that's a child's one, that's not for you. <laughs> right, Black Crew, mm -hmm. 18. Oh, very good, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put next down as an option. Black one line, 20, don't want one line. Can you come and have a look at this, please? Maybe crew This Louis Vuitton bag. I'm trying to sort out the test On Bestiaire. So then I've got to find one for about £100. Yeah, I will do it <laughs> You like doing stuff like oh, that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like that one better. This is what we're looking at. Wait, I'll show you proper. For my vestiaire spends. I think I'm going to go for these because I feel like these are wearing well, whereas yeah. they're a mower bag. This sounds really stupid, but I'd rather pay, get myself one at some point and mm. wear it in myself. Right. <laughs> With yeah. all the travel memories. Yeah. No, that is nice though. I like that. that do you like nice. this more than the ones with the monogram on? Yeah, I do. This is the only way in which I'm into the monogram. Yeah. But I think I still prefer. I prefer it without. I think it's much more classic. Mm, I really like that. Yeah, I like that one. It's in good condition, it, it says. Looks in good condition. It, looks nice. it says, it says. Pre-owned interior stains and residue, scratches on hardware, creasing throughout leather. Slight fragrance. Oh. Of what? <laughs> it doesn't say. Oh, smelly feet. Oh, I don't know. Oh, nice perfume. Oh, it's fine. I might order that. Why do I look like that? <laughs> I bought some cardigans today and I also bought two t shirts from Uniqlo. Men's extra small ones from the Uniqlo U range. Oh, mother, just chuck us a t shirt, would you, so I can show the people? <laughs> They're like really you nice, need... thick. Get again. No, you can do it if you want. This is it. Oh, come over here, you're a bit backlit. Okay. This is it, an extra small, £19. Really lovely, coming closer. Really lovely, thick, thick, thick cotton, isn't it? It is thick, yeah. So I've got two of them, didn't I? One in that colour and one in black, and then three cardigans for testing basics. Yep. Great success. Great success. Can you tell I watched a bar at recently? Although I don't think your other stories one is quite insane. No, I know the end of the stories one is a chunky knit, so I need to get one more chunky. I want to do three not so chunky and two chunky. Because then I can, this is obviously not part of it, this is really old, but then I can show you different ways to style it. Okay. Yeah, or we could make two tests of this. One about crew, you know, Lightning. Let's not over egg the cardigans and do it over two. Oh, Alright then. Okay, now we're having a change of plan for the evening. Lindsay's having a sofa delivered that hasn't come on time and she has to go out for the evening. So I'm going around to hers to have a night in at hers so I can sign for her sofa. So I'm just on my way there now. I've just put them in a taxi so she's gone. 
and yeah, I'm just walking there and I'm gonna walk down Ludbrook Grove so I'll show you how boarded up Notting Hill gets in preparation for Carnival. Smith shop there, all boarded up. And it's everywhere. Good evening, guys. Looking even rougher than I was earlier. I'm just still at Lindsay's house waiting for the arrival of the sofa. It's quarter to ten and it has not yet arrived, but its ETA is 10 pm. So that's fine. And I just thought I'd sign this vlog off here because I've just finished editing it. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Mum just texted me to say she's just got home. <laughs> um, I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Links for like what I've been wearing today, I'll put in the description box. I feel like the sooner you have to stop looking at me looking like this, the better. Things aren't good. Things are not good right now. Anyway, I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching.